In Little Big Planet, there are two ways to select multiple objects. The most common way is group selecting, which I just did. But multi selecting is faster in some cases. The way I did this is by holding R2 and pressing X on every object that I wanted. This could be faster than drawing a box around multiple objects. Another advantage is that you can select objects that aren't right next to each other, and this wouldn't be possible if you're using group select. A third advantage is that you can select specific objects. With group selecting, I don't have complete control of what I get. I didn't want the castles in the back, I only wanted the ones in the front. With multi selecting, you can select specific objects that you want without having to worry about objects in other layers. Multi select could also be used with logic, especially if you have overlapping microchips. In this case, you would want to use multi select instead of group select. If you ever made the inside of a car or a house, you might have tried to glue a thin layer or a layer in the back to a thick layer or a layer in the front, and it wouldn't work. You might have resorted to using the advanced glue tool, and this is an option. Or you might have glued the thick layer to the thinner layer instead, and this also works. But there actually is a way to glue a thin layer to a thick layer like I did here. The way you do this is by holding L1, and you should see the object in front lighting up if it's in the layer right in front of the object. So you hold L1, and then hold X at the same time, and then it will be glued. A similar trick could be used for objects right next to each other. So if I were to glue the middle object, all three would be glued, but I only want the object on the left to be glued. So I would just move my left stick, and it would light up to show what I'm about to glue. So you can move your stick, you can move it in either direction, and the object about to be glued will light up. So right here, I moved my left stick left, and held X, and as you can see, the left object got glued. And you can do the same thing with objects that are up and down, and in other directions. Just keep in mind, if there's more than two objects on any side, it won't work too well. So like, right here, you see that three objects are lighting up. In that case, it's better to use the advanced glue tool. You could also do the same thing for objects that are behind. So if I only wanted to glue the castle in the back, not the ones on the sides, I could just hold L2 and X, and it will only glue the one in the back. You can glue objects that aren't touching by using an invisible hologram or sticker panel. With hologram, set it to 0% brightness, and with sticker panel, 0% opacity. When you smear it, make sure it's touching all the objects. And then set it to 0%. Now these objects are glued together. Let's say you made some scenery, but then you want to delete the whole thing. You would probably group select it, which could take a long time, depending on how big your set is. Either way, group selecting it and then deleting it isn't the fastest way. A way better and faster way is to just delete it in one go, which is easier. The way to do this, assuming everything is glued together, just select it and hold triangle and in 2 seconds it will be gone. It's way faster than group selecting and deleting. Shout out to Little Big Planet Central, that's where I learned most of the tips in this video, and that's actually where I learned how to create better. If you want more quick tips, then check out this playlist right here.